welcome back to the workshop everyone and if you're watching this on the day it came out a very Merry Christmas I hope you're having an amazing time and if you've managed to sneak away for half an hour to watch a bit of YouTube then don't worry I'll not tell anyone so just because it's Christmas it's still a Tuesday and you know what that means test Tuesday and the logical thing to do is of course to build a full test rig to measure how much force it takes to pull a Christmas cracker now before I start I have no idea whether Christmas crackers are just a UK thing or if the whole planet is going to be aware of what on earth I'm talking about when it comes to Christmas crackers pop in the comments below and let me know if this is a thing that you see in your country but a Christmas cracker is basically a cardboard tube that you pull with someone and it makes a little bang when you pull it and inside for a cracker to be a cracker it has to contain three things a hat a bad joke and a disappointing gift so first things first I'm gonna to have to modify my test rig so that it can actually take Christmas cracker because these are quite long so let's plow on and get that sorted Now, if you're not familiar with the wondrous joys of Christmas crackers, they contain a little strip of cardboard known as a snap. And in the middle of it, there's a little bit of an explosive charge. It's like impregnated into the cardboard. And the friction of pulling it apart when the strips, because it's like two strips on top of each other held together. And the friction of pulling those strips apart causes a minor detonation inside the cracker which makes a little bang when you pull the cracker that's how it works so it's really important when you've got a Christmas cracker that you make sure you've got a hold of the little snap cardboard thing now on these these are fancy crackers and the the snap is actually glued to the inside of the uh, cardboard tube but often that's not the case and if you pull a cracker and you're not holding the snap then it won't make a pop sound and you'll just be filled with eternal disappointment. Now, I will pre-warn that in this test, it might not go bang because they're getting pulled apart so slowly that there might not be enough friction to ignite the charge, we shall see. The only other issue I'm gonna have is that my test rig can only pull about five or six centimeters. So if the cracker takes more distance than that to completely pull it apart, then I'm gonna run into some problems. 
I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, and if you're not familiar with kilograms or kilos as they get known, this bag of potatoes weighs two and a half kilograms and I weigh 80 kilograms. Let's pull a Christmas cracker. Right, ready to rock. Taking up the slack. We are at one kilo. I can't see the scale now. Come on. Nearly there. It's gone! <laughs> Yay! It didn't bang though, I don't think. Oh. What did it go at? 11 kilos, that's not bad. You know what I was saying? I don't think it's... I don't think it's snapped the strip. Oh! Let's try and keep it going. Let me pause this. It hasn't snapped the snapper. So I'm going to unwind this a little bit, readjust the clamps. I've got to get this snapper going. I know it's not very scientific, this, but it needs must. It doesn't fit. It's not that I wasn't gripping it properly. The snapper must be deliberately much longer than the cracker. So that the cracker pulls first and then the snap afterwards, I think. Let's try that. Keep start logging again. Come on, you can do it. Hey! <laughs> popped! <laughs> I don't know, I'm covering the screen. I don't think it, oh, it only got a tiny bit further. I've got to have a look at what we've got in the cracker. You can see the little um, snapper thing there. Let's have a look. I've no idea. Some sort of key ring thing. I think it's a game or a puzzle or something. We've got a hat. Uh, where's the joke? Oh my word, they're fancy. Look at that whole shit. Normally it's just a tiny little joke. These hats never fit my giant heed. Let's see what we've got. What kind of motorbike would Santa Claus ride? A Holy Davison. And then we've got an anagram. Uh, what makes up an anagram of chaps striding mud? Answer below, upside down. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It broke with a force of about 11 kilos. Now, just to get a bit nerdy about this, I've run the test three times, and here's how the results came out. So the red line is our first test that we did. The green line is the second test that I did, but I didn't film it. And the third test is the blue line. So you can see pretty much all much of a muchness, really. Um, ignore the fact that it kind of goes in a negative. When I start the test, the scales automatically calibrate themselves and reset themselves to zero. So when the cracker breaks, obviously there's no weight on the system at all anymore, uh, or there's no kind of stress in the system anymore, and it can end up going into negative because of that, because all it takes is a tiny turn of the nut on the top and suddenly you've got a kilo of force on, on it. So it's just ignore this where it goes into the negative, basically. I'll go through all of these um, and show you them because it's quite interesting. So the first test, this is the uh, one that you saw. And you'll see all these little um, kind of indentations in the graph. We've got one there, we've got a little peak there one there so we've got one two three four five six seven and what that is the cracker is made in it's got like little 
cardboard fins around the edge and as each of those fins break you get a little kind of dip in the graph and that's what that is each one of those and I mean there's 12 fins on the cracker but obviously some of them you might get two breaking at the same time and stuff like that so you're not going to get exactly 12 little peaks but I thought that was quite interesting each one of those little peaks is one of those little bits of cardboard snapping one of those little fins snapping and then obviously we'll have to reset the jig which is what this is so ignore this dip down here and then this little bit here is where the snap broke see and see if you imagine if if we ignored this drop here because of the system being reset you could probably move that up to about there so the snap broke with about two and a half or two, well, probably about three kilos of force it took to break the snap but 11.46 kilos was the peak kilogram force load on the cracker now test two slightly lower result 8.66 kilos of force again we've got all these little peaks one two three four five six seven little peaks on this one the snap uh, misfired after the system had been kind of reset and therefore there was no recording of the snap going it it basically just broke by itself and then test three this one was quite interesting so on test three it went with 9.88 kilos again we've got all these little peaks one two three four little one there maybe five six seven eight nine ten and then i think this is what i had to reset the system but we've got another little peak here where there, uh, another bit of the cardboard fins kind of snapped and then this one here is where the snap broke so again if you imagine moving this section of the graph up to compensate for the system being reset again it's very similar about three kilos of force to break the snap so if we look at all of our graphs together again you can see they're pretty similar test 1 11.46 test 2 8.66 test 3 9.88 and what's the chances that that came out at exactly 30 kilos comes out at an exact average of 10 kilograms 10 kilograms of force to break a cracker which is exactly four bags of spuds and by the way one other thing that i forgot to mention whoever gets the big side of the cracker gets to win the prize so whoever gets the uh, the big end of the cracker wins whatever's in it if you're not familiar with all this cracker madness so there you go who would have thunk it now if you would like to know how i made this arduino controlled test rig i will be doing a video about it in 2019 so don't forget to hit subscribe i'd also like to say a really special thank you to every single one of my awesome patreon patrons out there you help to keep this channel completely independent and sponsorship free so thank you so much for that as a little extra christmas treat just for my patreon supporters there's a special behind the scenes video over on patreon at the moment showing how i made last saturday's video the mailbox number two video so you can see a behind the scenes version of that video and see how terrible i am at following a script and all of the outtakes and everything else it's very embarrassing and if you sign up on patreon you will also get access to all of my past job pricing videos and you'll get access to all of the exclusive patreon only videos from my small business toolbox channel as well so you'll get like two channels for the price of one basically and as another little bonus treat for patreon supporters you will get access to the full unedited q a session that i did with keith brown over at the rag and bone brown channel and he did like a little interview with me recently and the unedited version is open to his patreon patrons patrons and it's open to my patrons as well so if you go on uh, my patreon you will find a link to that video so make sure you subscribe to keith's channel rag and bone brown it's a fantastic channel well worth a watch and remember for just one dollar you're getting access to all of that extra stuff on 
Patreon. Just go to patreon.com slash gothethandyman and you will find it all on there. Also, don't forget, the last episode of this season of the Measuring Up podcast comes out on New Year's Eve. So if you've never dived in to the world of podcasts, now is the perfect time. Just visit measuringuppodcast.com or pop onto your podcast player of choice and search for Measuring Up Podcast and you will find us on there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my podcast co-host's channel, Peter Millard. Link in the description below to Peter's channel and Keith's channel as well and everything else I've chatted about in this video. One final little request I have for all of you lovely people. Pop on to gothforthandyman.com slash newsletter and sign up to my brand new mailing list. And then every month you'll get a tiny little email from me keeping you up to date with what's happening on the channel and you might find it interesting. I'm not sure when the next video is gonna be out yet. I might have a couple of weeks off because the last year has been nuts. But for now, from me and my family to all of you lovely people out there, I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.